What's up, man? I'm back with another Chosen Ones video, man. This is for the Chosen Ones, man. Listen up, man. I got a real good video for us. And this video is about being there who you naturally vibe with, Chosen Ones. Like, this is a very, very beautiful video already. Be near who you naturally vibe with. Let's talk about it. Because this is a this is a cornerstone to narcissism. This is one of the biggest pieces on the chessboard that will ever exist. Right? Hold on. You are who you hang with. And you can't be who you ain't hanging with. You know what I'm saying? So people be wondering why their life is in shambles, but they don't ask, who am I around? And then they don't ask, who am I not around? Because instinctively, you feel like who you're not around, you know, we're bred to believe it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And we're bred to believe it doesn't matter who I'm not around. Cause if, you know, as long as I'm alive, this is how the mind think, as long as I'm alive, I'm good, right? So you don't really care, family, but that's connected to a certain chakra in the body. When we talk about the energy uh, being either abandoned or taken care of, when you don't measure this, what I'm talking about right now, then you're gonna always be in cahoots with the narcissist because they're attacking your friendships. And it's crazy because you can't see it because it's what? Black magic, voodoo, witchcraft. Attacking you in a spiritual realm. Putting fake fear in you. You're not fearful. You've never been fearful. Fake fear, right? Be near who you naturally vibe with, right? Because what you'll notice is if you, as you build your life this way, family, it's a part of you that's deactivated. See, you're so busy thinking it's something you could do to make people appear in your life that you don't realize that that part of you is deactivated. And the only way it get reactivated is by you listening to this channel because I'm kicking it out for you. I'm doling it out for you. I mean, you can start here. You don't have to start out there because I'm going to be honest with you, the way Satan operate, if everybody was to leave their house right now, all the people who feel stuck in the house was to leave their house right now, what Satan will do is end it, everything will end up going right back to where it is because he loves, he's, a, he's about, he knows how to deal with energy the same way God knows how to, you know, it's, it's almost 50-50 on that end. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can go out here and do whatever you want, do backflips and do, you know, you could roll around in the dirt, you could kick your feet up, you could go to the gym, you could go to, you could go anywhere, but you're gonna end up right back because you don't vibe with who you vibe with naturally. I don't have to go across town to find someone who I vibe with naturally. You understand what I'm saying? As long as I'm on earth, I'm a part of the collective automatically. So then the question begs, what is the deal, right? This is where they say the soul, right? The solar plex, the solar plexus. Let me tell you how it works. The narcissist deactivates your solar plexus. And we could talk about that in another video, but they deactivate your solar plexus in different ways. The way they talk around you, the way they move around you, the way they walk around you, just the way they move in general is built to kind of mess with your soul. And the soul can be transferred as the spirit or it could be talked about as um, <clears throat> the soul could be also talked about as the self and in therapy they use that word instead of using the word soul they will use the word self because what the goal is in therapy is to become a whole self versus a half a self or a part of self meaning like most people when they get in relationships they lose their self 
So this is something to practice, actually, that a practice is to be yourself, right? People say be yourself so casually, and I hate that. But, like, you will wonder, you will wonder why people, I don't know. It takes a certain, I don't want to use the word ritual, but it takes a certain sacrifice to be yourself. Because what it is, is you're ultimately doing is you're saying, okay, I don't want to be this over here. I want to be myself. So, like, that automatically comes with some willpower and some in intention, intentionality. So, for all the people who think they could just be themselves and they don't have to set out to be themselves, and they don't think that being yourself is a journey and a lifestyle, that's B BS to me. Because, remember, what it is is that the way you're raised isn't the way you're going to live the rest of your life. <clears throat> So anybody want to argue me in the comments, go ahead. But I'm standing on that because you're going to be arguing with someone I am today and not who I am tomorrow. Because remember, it's a journey. So remember, like a bridge, when you're walking over a bridge, it's a journey. Like each step on the bridge, one might be broken. You might have thought it was perfect, but it's not. You might have thought it was ugly, but it's not. You might have thought so. The thing about narcissism is they're like the troll under the bridge. So they want to keep you focused on step number one for the rest of your life. So your mind is captivated and distracted versus you taking steps. This is why it's a person almost would be better off blindfolded in that scenario <clears throat> or deaf. Not, you know, losing the, the ability to hear the distractions, the roars of the the mighty monsters and animals that dwell amongst. Because if your senses go out, this is why people get high, right? This is why people do things. Because when your senses are dulled or dumbed down, then you're able to just be yourself unapologetically. You're like, man, it, you don't even care so much that you don't even try to be yourself no more. It's just, it is what it is. You live, you know, it's a certain meditative spirit. But vibe with who you naturally vibe with right and this is don't let this go over your head don't let this go under or whatever because what it really boils down to is self esteem and who you are like it's a whole community of youtubers i probably get along with but i don't know them guys so like am i just gonna sit here and not dig into that part of me because it, it'll be a part of me to go be around them, right? That is a part of me to go be around them, right? It's not a part of me to not be around them. So when you look at the term like, um, uh, okay, so let me just say some, some stuff real quick. So chosen ones, who you naturally vibe with, right? I'm asking y'all right now, who you naturally vibe with? And whoever you got in your mind, like, all you have to do, fam, is intentionally lock in with lock in with who is um, right for you. All you have to do is lock in, and that's the little part, like on the bridge, where there's a missing piece, right? Where you feel like, okay, I'm trying to lock in, but where are these people at? You know what I'm saying? You may go to the gym, you may go to Walmart, you may go to grocery stores, you may go, but all you find is that at the end of the day. You still don't feel, keyword, feel energy, feelings, energy frequencies, right? You don't feel so, um, the chakra system. You don't feel that you've got anywhere with what you're doing. But see, the problem is, is that you need to feel something versus it just accept the facts, right? So let's go back to fatherlessness and motherlessness. I mean, motherfulness fatherlessness instead of balance right because balance is i feel emotions but they don't control me i have logic and i um i stand on logic basically so logic will be okay and um I'm, i met a couple people cool i took a you know some information from them they took information from me and ultimately i'm gonna see where things go and not only am i gonna see where things go but i'm going to present my best self Keyword back to the soul, the solar plexus, right? The solar plexus. 
See, a lot of this got to do with eating right, living right, and just being right. Like, you know what I'm saying? All those rights, right? Everything got to be checked off. Like, you know, am I a truth teller? You know what I'm saying? Do I live my, my, my organic life? Do I, um, do I, because like, again, when a narcissist is baiting you to argue or what we see as baiting, when you give into that, you're not being yourself off the bat. Like, you think you're being yourself, but really you, like, I could speak for myself. I'm not even an argument, argumentative type of guy. If you ask them that, they'll say, yeah, because they're the enemy. But I'm coming from honesty. Like, anyone knew me growing up, they know that that's the case. So how is it that this one, this one fool out of the whole world is getting me to behave that, right? So it's more of them than it is me. Because if you put me around anybody, I'm not going to argue, nor am I going to even per like I'm not even going to like give them any energy so sometimes it's just one person around you who's just pulling from you all the time and we'll see that in um society here and there certain cases of people like they need attention they need they feel like they need stuff from you and they're just they won't give in on that law that they have for themselves I guess right they're going to get it from who's going to give it to them or they're going to take it or they're going to die trying. Let that be them. Don't don't even engage because vibe who you look. Y'all so busy trying to get away or trying to dodge these folks. Just get near who you naturally vibe with. <laughs> and the problem is you'll meet one person who you naturally vibe with. And what you'll do is you'll become codependent on that person. Uh, uh, Spiritual burps. Uh, I should have my mic on right now, but I got the um, my phone charging. But um, yeah, you'll take the codependency out of the narcissist and you'll bring it over into your next friendships or relationships versus keeping a tab on that like okay dang like i don't want to be too dependent you know what i'm saying maybe i'll maybe i'll hang out you know today and then chill for a couple of days and then you know what i'm saying hit like but see the, the the main thing is you don't go where or to the events or places or activities that you're more likely to run into your kind and you don't define your kind you know, sit down with a piece of paper, list 10 characteristics that you feel may be your kind. Like for me, it's typically quiet people. You know, they might talk here and there. They kind of quiet people for me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like more more laid back, more chill. Uh, that's one of the characteristics. Um, it's just a couple characteristics. Like I could just name off the top, but how many of those people are you going to run into in a day? So if you go out, especially if you don't have a busy schedule, you go out, you go to the gym, you probably run into two of those people, three of those, maybe four or five if you really look. Or, you know, because a lot of time when you go out in public, and I know I'm talking to somebody right now, you go out in public and your mind is, say you're at the gym lifting, and then you got a moment of, dang, like, like the other day I was literally doing this. I had a moment of like, dang, I literally told myself I was going to say what's up to 20 people. And I literally didn't feel like it. But I understood me enough to know that I don't never feel like it. So what I did was I said to myself, cool, you, you literally don't never feel like doing that. So why would you be surprised that you don't feel like doing it? And I was able to kind of like shake those demons off. But uh, the average person won't be able to all the time because you have to do this consciously until you can do it regardless, basically. And so, like, some people see me as social. Some people see me as not. Like, I see myself as 50-50 sometimes. I'm like, oh, how am I able to be social? And then certain, and I think what it is is, like, I can always be social, but certain situations just make me feel like it's my, it might not be the right decision. Because remember, if I don't really want to be cool with you and you got a loud mouth, I really don't want to talk to you no way because then you're not going to shut up. And you're going to assume that I'm your friend and then I'm going to be like, I'm going to have to let you know. 
You feel me? I ain't really like that right now. You feel me? So, I mean, it's cool. I don't got a problem letting people know, but it's just that loud mouth people kind of bother my soul. Or they just, yeah, they ain't for me. So it's like, I vibe with who you naturally vibe with. You know what I'm saying? And another way narcissism work is they cause you, um, your friendships to kind of spoil in a sense. Because if you're distracted 24 seven, then when do you got time to text back that person who really want to link up with you? When do you have time? Like this person, a narcissist could literally swallow up 24 hours on a weekly, week to week basis. Like a snake, you know, the snake swallows the whole body. That's the animal. That's the only animal that really do that. Besides like maybe an alligator. Like, but those are reptilian type things. Like they, they swallow your whole existence. It's not partial. So it's like, it's not like they could bother you and you still be texting people on and like figuring stuff out. Like they literally come to kill still and destroy all it like by them even being around you is disrespectful so another way they work is they curse your friendships your friendships take a total toll how can you have friendships when you're distracted and you feel you humiliated or debased or you feel stuck with somebody like the other day i hung with somebody right but literally, I felt like crap all the way until I literally was on the highway or some shit. Like, literally until I got out of the district. Like, <laughs> because they're literally spoiling the lifestyle. Like, they're literally bothering your energy, which is energy is everything. So anyway, um, they're they're ruining your friendship so that you can uh, you can't be free. Um, you can't be free at that point, right? You're not free. You're slaved. You're enslaved on an energetic basis because once I attacked you, you felt attacked. And because you felt attacked, now you are attacked. And it's weird how that works too. So, a human's easier to tame when they have less outlets. So ironically, I'm gonna keep going in circles with y'all, like reversing these circles. As I speak, you should feel a freeness coming out, like a freeness, because what's happening is the narc, like even them right now, they're running them off in the other room on the phone, right? Circle, 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 conversation. Like I swear to God, they they care, they got that phone stuck to their face all day. <clears throat> And it's the most disrespectful thing on earth because it's like, dang, bro, like you're not gonna give people a chance to like, you're not going like, it's almost like they hate themselves or they hate the life that they were granted. So they, they avoid it through television and phones. You know what I'm saying? They always on the phone, always on the phone. And then it's like, they're talking at a, 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 at a tone purposely that's perfect. So you don't never again, if you, if you always feel fought with in the energetic realm or the spiritual realm, you always feel like you're attacked or some somebody's always attacking. When do you got time to make videos? When do you got time to, when you got time to get rest? When do you got time to, you know what I'm saying? You don't got a lot of time, you know what I'm saying? So they're getting you through time. But time is like the beautiful thing that God gave us. You know what I'm saying? So we should be cherishing time. And this is why this video is about you getting away from them, not by running, but by creating those friendships that really matter. It's really all Because if you're in a narcissistic situation and you make one friend that's a narcissist or a negative, that could literally be the reason why it could, it could go all, your whole life could be ruined at that point. Or you get a girlfriend and she's a narc, your whole, because it's, remember, it's already, with one of them is already enough. So take this as a, a blessing. Like, you know what I'm saying? One of them is already enough. <laughs> So, like being out of reach of person sounds great to Yeah, being out of reach of, of poison sounds great to me. I don't know what sounds great to you. Comment down below. It sounds great to me. It sounds great being out of reach of poison, doesn't it? Family. So they will attack your self-esteem. 
they do this all the time. Oh, you just like your father. Oh, oh my God, I wish you was this. Uh, they're trying to depress, break that word down. I want to depress you, right? Uh, in the verbal sense, I'm pressing you. I'm, I'm making you feel badgered, annoyed. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case, right? Because your self-esteem is connected to the solar soul. So your self-esteem is connected to the soul. Self-esteem connected to the soul. Solar chakra. So the chakra that is found down here by the gut. Um, this is why breathing exercises will heal you. Um, eating healthy food will heal you and other friendships will heal you because it's the also the air that they breathe affects the air that you breathe so you hang with your kind hang with people who you belong with hang with people who you know are happy like that's one of the main in my opinion one of the main um qualifications like are they happy like if you just sit back and get out your feelings and look at this with a a third eye so to speak you just got to see them like, are they happy? Not are they kind of happy? Not are they 10%? Are they happy? If I had to judge black and white, are they happy? And I had to only choose A or B. I couldn't say maybe 50, 25. Or, I had to say, are they happy? The question is, are you going to be man enough to accept that? Are you going to be woman enough to accept that? Because... Your life will literally take a twist and a better, and, and it'll take a turn if you start looking at it like that. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm not saying you can't have one person in your life that's not perfect and got a little bit of negativity in them. I'm not saying you can't have two people, three people, four people like that. But I'm saying if it's, if you're not making friends, there's a reason why, and it's basically energy. Because you can't thrive on planet earth without the right type of energy. It's like gas in your tank, gas inside of the tank, it can't drive, you know what I'm saying? Energy, so it's like, that's why people who start meditating before they leave the crib, they start doing yoga before they leave, you know, they do stuff early in the morning because that makes them able to actually drive through the rest of the day. And if you just get, if you just think that, okay, and this is why people say attract instead of chase. You don't chase friends, you just attract them. But I would say like more so pursue, like you gotta have an eye for it. Like, just like we're picking up women, I, I got an eye for it. Like, oh damn, she, she look a little spicy, but like, you know, I could really kind of, I, I figured out how to read the energy, the facial expression, and just the overall look. And by the time we're talking, once you either, you're either going to A, you know, this is when it's obvious, right? They either going to manifest and give you negativity or positive. At that point, when you're looking and they're talking, you should be able to exactly see, are they, is this a black or white on the chessboard? Is it, is it A or B? Because when they um, give you that first, um, what you want, or, or, or they give you any attitude, it's automatically negative. If they are open, receptive, nice, kind, then it's like, okay, cool, let's go further. And it's just that simple. But when you're like emotional or you got baggage or you feel insecure, because a lot of time, a lot of women found the secret to you guys too. Like they found like, okay, if I give him negativity, why does he I get more attention? So it's very vital that you don't do that. But guys don't see that. That's like a big pitfall. Like, and I, I fall for it too. Like, Cause it's like, dang, why is she talking to me like this? Like, you know, but it's like, bro, she doing that. You know, you don't see the other 10 guys she hit with that. So it's like, just accept it and move on. Like, and then I'm gonna tell you Satan. So Satan, so be so mad when you do that, that he'll literally make it to where that person will start seeking out or situations will still come for you because you did handle it right. Cause Satan wants you to stay dumb to it or stay in the blind spot to that secret which is you should be rejecting her first see see it's a percentage of women you could get by going after and it's a certain percent you're going to get by never letting them near you at all so it just depends if you want to open up the door for them because regardless a man is a man regardless 
So it's like you can't chase something that you can't catch because that's going to mean you got to leave the throne. Like, you ain't never going to catch a king out of his throne chasing behind something that he can't catch. And that's just the matrix for you. Like, but let's continue. Like, and I go for friendships too. People who don't want to hang with you, bro, they saving you, bro. Let them go, please. If they tell you they don't want to hang with you, bro, that's your opportunity to look in, inside of your soul and in your heart and say like, yo, what can I do right now that can push me further? Like, like I okay, you rejected me, good, thank you. Cause like, if you didn't and you was a sucker and you just let me talk to you, then you would have been kind of on some snake junk or it would have just ended up a way where later on, I'm just, you know, I might count on you for something and you drop the ball. Cause you're not loyal. Cause you can't be loyal to somebody you don't really respect or want to hang with. So, I just be um, proud when people be like, hey, yo, look, like, but pe people, you know, some people will let you know that they don't want to really hang with you, but they'll do it in like more of like a, a passive way or they just won't, they just won't say much. You know, us as men, we could quite read that really, really good. So if you just pay attention to it and don't get in your feelings about it, you'll be straight. But here's how the mind works here. When you face rejection, you won't look no more. And this is where people go wrong. They'll be like, dang, so buddy just rejected me, right? He didn't want to hang with me. But you're not going to look no more. And it's the same thing with women. Like, one girl, like, it be times where I'm talking to multiple women, and they all are giving me good feedback, right? And then there be that one girl who don't do it. And like I said, it's where you're being tested on a spiritual warfare level. Because now, if you just say, okay, cool, like maybe I shouldn't be chasing all these women to begin with, you'll be good. But if but if you feel like, man, look, like, you know, I'm a hunter and the hunter inside of me says that I got to catch the, the, the wildest animal in the jungle. That's literally how the universe is receiving that. Like, and then what they're what they going to do, they're going to make that animal act wild wilder than what it would act if you had common sense and was like man look every woman ain't for me you know what i'm saying and that's how this whole narcissism stuff is set up too like the whole world is a capitalistic society like if you chase behind somebody who don't want you around them and it don't matter who it is it's gonna backbite you but see the problem is is that that means that that subject that's chasing the other subject has to has to have self-respect. That means that you have to end up saying, you know what? And the only way you could get that is by literally, like I said, hang with who you who vibe with you. Because what that's going to do is it's going to feed more self-respect into you, right? It's going to feed more into you, and you're going to be like, man, I love the life I got already. And then you're going to end up saying, I don't want to hang with their ass. But see, the thing about narcissism is they'll try to break you down if they find out that that's what's going on. That's the difference between narcissism and a female that's healthy and loves themselves or a person who's healthy. They they won't say, oh, well, this person is finding themselves. So now let me go and rip them down from that tree. So then now I feel more better about myself. <laughs> bro, that's facts, but that's how it be going. But um, sounds great to me uh, that self-esteem connected to the solar chakra they want to drain your happiness um and your soul so that that's today's um that's today's um chosen ones um they yeah, they um vibe with who you naturally vibe with bro because it'd be a lot of people too on your journey that you're gonna thought you're gonna have thought that you vibing with but you're gonna find out like you gonna you you gonna okay basically what I'm trying to say is and this go for relationships and friendships like what's happening is you're finding yourself so as you're finding yourself you're pretty much in the dark so as you're finding yourself you're literally gonna think that this girl is perfect for you because she's being nice to you and you're gonna realize like nah she might have would have been but like it's other females. See, the worst thing people hate is somebody who got options. And this is what my dating coach always talk about. People who got options, they hate that, right? But the truth is, like, they actually love it. 
that they mentally hate it, but they subconsciously actually love it. Because you're literally loving yourself by opening up your options. And anyone could do it. So, like, that's the problem. Like, people don't, they don't, they don't um, maximize their potential in their, with their options, their network. Like, if you go to the mall and you meet people and you don't uh, meet them, like, and make sure you really meeting them and talking to them, then it's like, I mean, like, that's on you. But I just feel like that's smart to just, to be cool and to know somebody. Like, because it's like, why would you literally isolate yourself like that? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just something, a learned behavior that you, you know, that you learn, like, because I promise you, I did that already. I already did it. So Satan be mad at me because I won't go back through that because I already did it. So I learned the lesson. Like, bro, like, you say, and then another thing too, like, money's connected to friendships. If your friend got a job, he's going to tell you, you should get a job. But if your parents tell you to get a job, it sound different. It don't even really sound the same. It don't even really make the same sense. Because you're, cause it's just two different relationships. And then your parents would be mad at you for that, what I just said. But they don't realize, like, y'all are two different people. That's like me telling them dating information. They're going to be like, well, you my son. I don't want to hear that. But if they friend told them, they're going to be like, well, okay. We both girls, we both the same age bracket. I know you've been through something similar and they're gonna do they, you know, they're gonna go off of that. Same way if your friend that's around your age tell you, yo bro, you should um get a job with me. I work over here. That's a closed deal. And that closed deal is gonna get you out of a narcissistic situation. So a lot of time people spend too much time in a phase of like trying to get back from the thing that they're just getting, they're just in the dark, too deep in the woods, too deep in the dark. And then you you don't understand the friendship, um, how friendships work or relationships. Because a girls, girls save a lot of guys too. Yeah. And I hate to, to use that word saving, saving a, saving a guy, but yeah. you women know what I mean. Like you see them love stories and stuff where I, you know, a girl helped the guy finish college and get on his feet. But, like, on some real stuff, like, that's a lot of females who will help a guy, too, and then become possessive. Because they, and you can't even be mad at them for doing that because they, they might love you or they might blink, 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 whatever. But they are possessive. Like, possessive possessiveness isn't attractive. You know, if I got a girl and she's unpossessive, that's going to make me look at her like, damn, you special. Because it's too many women that's possessive. Like, And it shows that you really believe in yourself. But a lot of guys nowadays, they want women to be possessive. They're like, if she don't chase me, then I don't know. But it's like, bro, like she got a life too and she got things to do. So if you really look at it the, um, the healthy way, the right way, then you could really just thrive. Like... But you hate being alone. You worked all day, you come home, you need somebody to bake your food for you and all that stuff. Cool, I understand that, but you don't need that. You feel me? You want that. So you got to sacrifice to have the life you want. Like, you want that. Cook your own food. Cook for her. Learn how to cook. But see, what I'm trying to say is, is that maximize on your friendships. Don't sit in one spot because you can really max out. You can literally max out. Sometimes I stay in the house all day and I know that that's not maxing out. I'm not maxing out. I'm not maxing out because I'm literally not doing it. It's just not no even no, ex no way to justify or explain why I'm not doing it. It's just that you either gonna do it or you're not. That's basically because even women look at us like that. Like you either gonna talk to me or you're not. And some things in life is like that. So if you don't got that, if you don't got, if you don't get it, then you don't you don't really 
You know, it got to be like, uh, you got to get it into your mind and your body and your soul. You got to get it in to you. The stuff I'm speaking about, you got to get it into you. That's why I say subscribe because, like, I typically don't tell people to subscribe. Like, I might say that to somebody who I meet in person, but I typically don't say that on my channel because I, I used to think that it was like, that's kind, kind of stupid to be making a video and tell people to subscribe. But my favorite YouTubers did that all the time. Like, the famous big, like, they still do it. And it's crazy because I finally feel like I see why you should subscribe. So now it's like I'm really saying it. I'm really saying it now because for the stuff I'm talking about in this video, it's not something you just watch and you go somewhere else. Like it's something you literally subscribe to. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? You might run into a, somebody else who could tell you the same stuff, maybe even better. But I just feel like it's just like, I don't know. I know I'm on a journey, so if somebody, if you down, you down. So, but look, man, like this video, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna see you on the next video, man. It's your boy, Will. And this video was just about vibe with who vibe with you, bro. Cause I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be people who don't vibe with you, who gonna still try to connect with you. Maybe for some reason, it don't matter what the reason is, but you gotta be aware to see that. Cause if you don't see it, you gonna think that y'all vibing. Or you gonna think that y'all not vibing, but based on it being family or whatever it is that I might have to, or should, or it'll be okay if, or those type of things. Because the secret in society is that it will be okay if, until it ain't okay, until that one day where it's really not okay. So you will and you will it's like, it's like, um, Poison by a little, by a little, by a little, like, instead of you just swallowing the whole poison, because that's what it is, like, a family member will do it like that, little by little, meaning, like, you're, if it's a stranger and they hate you or they don't like you, they'll just do it all off the rip, but if it's a family, that's, that's how narcissism works, it's like, little annoyance by little annoyance by little annoyance so like that's what it is bro little annoyance by little annoyance and your energy um uh, again it's kind of hard to vibe with who you vibe with when you're distracted and i hope y'all hear what i'm saying i hope y'all hear what's going on right now like, yeah, you can expose a narcissist, but that don't make them stop. I mean, it kind of do, but it kind of don't. But, like, they need to be obliterated for them to stop. Because they're monsters. They're broken. Like a broken record. They need to see that they can't do it no more or else. A wild animal. So, like I was saying before, I was kind of distracted because... I knew I was saying something that the devil really hated, which was if you don't subscribe and get this in your mind that, okay, they're doing something little by little in the metaphysical form, in a vibrational, in a vibrational way. See, arguments are vibrational. They mess with your spirit in a way you can't even really fathom after it's over with. You're like, damn, why was I even paying attention to a loser for five minutes? And you can't, it's like robbery almost. It's like they, they, thieve, they thieve, they're good at doing that because remember, your self-esteem is connected to your focus. And your ability to sit in one spot and focus for a long time, a duration. So they got to keep you always distracted. If you look at the word distraction and break it down, you're dissing, dissing, like you're saying, forget, you're dis dismissing. You're dissing the track that you should be on. Distracted. Or distract, distraction. Whatever. You're, dis, you're dissing the track that you're on. You're dissing the track. When you're on track, then you're on track. That's how the universe take it. Like, oh, if you're on track, you're on track. If that's how the universe give it up, like, oh, if this person on track, then they on track. They not even the universe not even gonna take offense at all. It's just gonna give. 
right? But a wicked person, like I said, little by little, trying to get you off track, trying to get you off track, trying to get you off track, trying to get you off track. And little by little, you're like, dang, or even like lowering your self-esteem so that you emotionally eat. They, when your self-esteem lowered, you'll go order a pizza instead of fasting and eating grapes, or you'll go do something that's outside of yourself. So what are you doing? Your solar plexus is being affected. You go, you go get a pizza, you go get a, a Taco Bell or something, your, your self-esteem is literally going to be lowered by that. When you, whereas though when you eat grapes and stuff that give you oxygen, you eat grapes and you eat apples and you eat oranges. These things literally feed you your vessel and build you up. So when you live with somebody who's not a built, um, they can't build you up, but they can break you down. Then you'll know, like you'll know, like yo, I, you know, you 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 gotta you gotta have people that that rock with you the way you rock with them, and that's literally how it gotta be. That's literally how it gotta be. Uh, Cause Satan don't like that. He don't like your camaraderie. He don't like your brotherhood. He don't like your your close your your tightness. Your your knit. I can't even say the word tight knit with people. So they'll bomb on that and attack on to attack on that. And so don't expect another thing too far I go. Cause I'm about to end this. Don't expect everybody to be down for you the way you down for them on this journey. Like, when you go out here, you meet people, like, yeah, people be cool, bro. But some people really going to be really, you feel me? They really going to be that to you. Like, they really going to be. And some people really is too, but you still can't hang with them. But still, like, you got to still pick. Like, you got to just be wise. So I'm, like, low-key a friendship coach now, like, low-key. But, like, I'm not the best at it. So, like, you know, you hear, you hear I'm trying to put, you know, I'm still figuring it out myself. So, you know, just stay tuned, man. Just stay tuned, bro. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see if, if, if what I'm kicking is actually something you can stand on or not and better your life. So I'm gonna see you on the next video, man. I'm out, man. Peace, man.